The infrastructure that was used probably five years ago is very different to the infrastructure that's being used today. But what Jensen's point was, I think it's a very important point, is NVIDIA has always been relevant. Historically, we see companies that are relevant at one phase of development, and then as the infrastructure changes, they become irrelevant, but you guys were able to innovate and, and push through. Let's move to a non-AI-related topic for a second. I want to talk about education. So today, knowing what you know, seeing what you see, and being at the cutting edge of this technology, what should people focus on when it comes to education? What should they learn? How should they educate their kids and their societies? Well, wow, excellent question. I'm going to say something, and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap. The technology divide has been completely closed. And this is the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. 